Yo, what's going on you guys? So Will's over right now. He brought over his 911. Haven't seen this on the channel a little bit because he's sort of been chilling on the mods. Um, and then he sort of decided, you know what? Screw it. Sort of yoloed out and bought a new set of wheels for his car. Alright you guys, so here are the wheels. This is definitely sort of our holy grail of wheel. It's the BBS E88. 19 inches in a C4S uh, wide body Porsche Vintment. So as you guys can see, it's got the BBS bolts, center caps, valve stems. Yep, sort of definitely the holy grail of wheel. I don't know how much you guys are into wheels and whatnot, but I mean, wheels have always been like one of the crucial parts of a car. It's kind of like the shoes you're wearing, but it's just funny because like when we were in high school and stuff, when we first started getting into cars, we used to think like having RPF ones was super sick. And then like, what, like CR Kai's? And then sort of graduate to like CE's, RE30's, TE's. And then after all of that, you have that next level, which is the E88's over here. So yeah, these are, these are definitely up there in terms of some of the sickest wheels you can put on your car for sure. We're just gonna throw on the new wheels. Uh, the car's on stock suspension and then you're gonna be putting coils on it on Sunday. Yep. Yeah, brand new, uh, what, Bilstein's? Olin's, Olin's dude, Ooh. So old Titan 7 BBS, exact same size in the front, exact same tire. This is the lit sizing for fronts, you know? Yeah, 235. I left the lug bolts on your shelf. <laughs> the BBS lug bolts? I don't know if they, those are different though, are they? Do they say BBS? It's so weird. They're the same, no? Yeah. They're just the BBS ones. They don't even have logos. Whatever, at least it's black. Yeah. Got the red stickers, the red. Is it like the capsule with like billet aluminum? Yeah. Dang. Billet aluminum center cap. Those. Looks not bad. Damn, these tires are still mint. I mean, how many miles do you put on them? Honestly, like 4K. 4,000? I mean, that's nothing, dude. They can last like 20. And you're like on stock camber, too. It's definitely more stretched. Yeah, for sure, as you can tell. Yeah. It like actually curves. That's what I don't like about it. Boy, what size tire did you need in 315? 315. But I, I mean, know. it looks good still though. Like, it's yeah. not like it's like. Because it looks pretty much exactly like the front right yeah. now. Yeah. Damn, this thing looks. It looks not as wide though, right? Yeah. I think it's because the stretch is like, it's like stretching out the width a little bit for sure. Fucking 11 and 12. Wow, this one looks actually way simple. It looks way less wide. Let's just kind of look at all of his hard earned money, dude. It's right there. Yep. <laughs> the funny thing is, uh, before this, Will was looking at a, whether or not to buy a second car, and then he was like, screw it, and just buy wheels and coils instead. So that gives you a good idea. Of, that gives you a good idea of how much these wheels cost. <laughs> There it is. Looking hella 4x4 four four though. But we'll give them the, you know, before and after. Yeah, this is pretty much like the best you can make this car look. <laughs> I was afraid it might rub, but damn, I think it even go wider. Nah, you can definitely get the 315 on there. Yeah, but I'm never gonna do that. Yeah, there's no point in getting new tires. Sick. I mean, I'm you can tell like when it comes in, it's gonna come into here. Yeah, yeah. All I care is it's not gonna rub, because yeah. that's like the worst. It's got what, three finger gap right now, or what? Damn. Make that into one. Dude, you gotta let them know how much you're gonna drop it, dude. Into one finger. To one finger, <laughs> dude. <laughs> so here's the look at the Titan 7s on this side. 
It looks better, honestly, on the stock suspension. It, it like doesn't even look like it needs to drop. <laughs> yeah, that's why I kept it for so long. Yeah. I never lowered my car. Yeah. It's going down now. There it is, you guys. New shoes on the whip. I mean, this thing's gonna look pretty sweet once the coils get on this thing, gets that proper drop. Right now that four by four, it's not the business, but I mean, you can just already imagine what it's gonna look like on that nice little drop. Ooh, all right, you guys, we're back. Wheels Porsche's back and recently got installed a new set of Olin's coilovers. So the stance is looking right, and we can show you guys the new stance and the E88s um, in the daylight now. All right, you guys, so here it is. E88's looking super fresh on here now. Everything is looking super clean, I really think the match, the billet center caps sort of make the whole look and complete the look versus E88s without centers. <laughs> Before you can show you guys the beauty shots, actually, Will's over doing some maintenance and uh, um, putting new rotors and pads on the on the 911 also. So it's gonna do that, and then after show you guys uh, some beauty shots of the car with the new wheels on it. This was changing his brakes. We can show you guys the, the coilovers. So there it is, new Olins installed. Um, brand new set of Olins. They ride super nice. Our other homie here, he just bought this uh, 350Z for some reason. And uh, <laughs> it's got a lot of stuff to do. So he's doing the control arms on here real quick. <laughs> wow, it? it's fucked up. What? Right here. This? I don't think that matters though. But like, they're probably all gonna be like that. My OEM ones aren't like that. Alright, the C bros are going on. Right, one rotor down. Coming from the back. Which high pads are these? The street ones or the street probably very brace proven street legal. Yeah. Okay. New sensors. So he's gotta watch that he's just watching some YouTube over here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> gotta figure out how to do it. How's it gotta take it off? I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> Free Damn, bro. Damn, dude. This nice, dude. Look at this shit. <laughs> I mean, the, the bushings are new. You can yeah, tell yeah. these bushings are all worn out. Yeah. Uh, this bushing doesn't even exist. <laughs> yeah, this shit is. I mean, it's supposed to look like that. I don't know, dude. The show's making mad noise. When yeah. I'm... And we're in auto zone. Again. Dude, what did you buy, dude? You did some power snacks, yeah. some energy, dude. I gotta finish my shit. <laughs> Had to take Will's ass to third location to find the thing that can redo his uh what did he do he stripped his caliper bolts yeah l dude did you get it it's not happening today what <laughs> no. they don't have it they told me i need to go to like a granger all right you guys technical difficulties on will's brake job took him to every store none of them had the thing he needed so gonna try to finish this up but he's gonna be leaving his car here <laughs> at least billy's finished you know billy's went uh lower control arms went to plan 
<laughs> Hopefully his car is uh, going to be leaving my driveway today. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, you guys? So we're back. It's been a couple days. Will's car's been sitting on my driveway. Um, the reason it's taking a while, he's doing the rotors and pads. This is just supposed to be a video on uh, showing the new wheels, but this is what it's turning into, I guess. Um, took a little while because uh, one of the caliper bolts needed to be re-threaded. And then at the same time, Will's doing the shoe brake horns. And if you've ever done the shoe brake, for the e-brake on one of your cars, you know it's a bitch. I just did it on the M5 and I left my car on stands for a good week because it was frustrating. But yeah, so we've been working on that and Will just got the right one on, messing with the springs and whatnot, and we'll show you guys that. New shoe brake horn. Just got this in. We've been messing around with trying to get these springs back on without it coming off, uh, probably for a good, I don't know. Probably been messing with this what for like a couple hours. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we got got the new parking brake shoehorn on there. How long do you think the other side is gonna take now? Hour. <laughs> Hour? I mean, it's already off. I just need to put it back together. Yeah. And I need to fix that front one. Wait, so what happened? I should go straight. Which bolt? Uh, threads right here. Uh, to like thread it back in. And then... Dude, this doesn't feel good. You can't like go back though once you start doing it, you know? going in? Yeah, I'm sketched to do it like all the way. So when I was driving a wheel around everywhere the other day to find, and none of them had the exact um, thread pitch. They had the size, but they didn't have the thread pitch for the, cause it's like, I don't know, a very unusual bolt for the Porsche caliper. Um, so this is what he needed. Luckily, they had it at this one random hardware store. Even was on clearance, I guess, cause nobody probably buys this thread pitch count, unless you have a Porsche BBK on your car. But we found it, and Will's sketching out to re-thread the thing, cause it doesn't want to mess it up, or, I don't know, feels sketchy, so that's what we're doing right now. Trying to re-thread that top bolt that you guys saw in there. It's like, it feels like it's grinding it apart if I go further, you know? Fuck, all right, man. <laughs> Actually, you guys, both of them got messed up, so he's doing the bottom one first. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Just gonna do it all the way until it stops? Oh, that shit's like golden, bro. <laughs> yeah. All right, moment of truth, though. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, do you guys do the top one? This one doesn't feel as it was so tight. Dude, I think the other thing is going in straight like this. Mm. About to find out. Sounds like it's going in. Yeah. 
worked. Ooh, the newly threaded bolt. It's working. Worked. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you know it worked. <laughs> All set. All right, the last one of the four finished. That re. The die, what is it? What do they call that? Die and tap? Tap and die? Worked out. Ooh. Special, there's a, it's a special thread count on this than a normal one. So, luckily, the store had it. It was actually on clearance in the back because nobody buys it. <laughs> actually, gonna, gotta do one more thing changing out the air filter. BNC air filters. Ferrari, bro. Ferrari, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Damn, this car's Italian, dude. Stop it, dude. Air filter box back in. All right, you guys. So Will finally finished everything up, so we can finally show you the whole point of this video. Is show this and with the new wheels on the coilovers and the daylight. So we'll show you guys that. Car's been sitting at my house and for some reason, everything in my house gets covered in pollen and dirt, so the car's filthy, but regardless, we're gonna show you the car on the new setup. I did that turn signal. Dang, sequential, bro. It does look way better, actually. Yeah, so those are the new LED DRLs. We haven't shown you guys those yet, so there it is. There's sequential also. It really makes the car look a lot better. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much gonna be it. This is the first time Will's done anything in this car in a while since you guys saw it last. Um, but at this point, the car is basically done. It's pretty much the ideal 911 that Will was going for. Um, I would, if I had this car, I'd build it the exact same way as well. The car's looking really nice now with the E88s on the Olin's coilovers. Um, and just to go over things, over everything done, you know, we got the GT3 front bumper, uh, and he also added the, uh, what are these, the 997.2? They're not, they're just LED. DRLs, and then we also have this vinyl trimmer around the headlights that we did in another video. We added the Porsche vinyl to it as well. He has the numeric short shifter kit in there, and then on the back, LED tail lights and the duck bill with the full exhaust system. Yeah, so this is where Will's car is right now. Pretty much all done. Um, I mean. This is pretty much the setup. So, if you guys have made it this far in the video, you know, go ahead, hit a like, subscribe if you guys wanna see more. Until next time, you guys, peace out.